we're not going to be spared. We're not going to be spared even on this uh, show today. Or maybe I'll say, look out for this for the website. Uh, we're going to some gifts will be given away before Christmas to especially to the people that have been very faithful in watching us all throughout the year. I mean, that's the least we can just do. Well, um, today is a very special day because it's like a feedback edition. We're talking to our patients. We talk all the time, but sometimes we we don't get to talk to our patients. We don't get to know from what we're doing right, what we're not doing right from them. So today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be talking to our patients and they are widespread all over the nation. You know, we are so lucky. We have clinics in the three geographical zones of Nigeria. And so we, we are going to be, uh, the people who are going to be taking part today, uh, they are widespread all over Nigeria. Okay, maybe I'll run, just have a brief rundown before I invite the first person to talk. We're going to be talking to Victoria Agubama from Lagos today. We're going to be talking to Ndifre, Ndifre K. Nkuto from Uyo. We're going to be talking to Heli Noluwole Adenike from Ibadan. We're going to be talking to Omojo K. Akiola from Lagos, Victor Diali from Lagos, Ogogu Peter from Abuja, Olale Konlua Kemi from Abuja, Ezwe Promise from Newi, and Motun. Abigail from Asaba. So it promises to be a very interesting conversation. So I'm, I'm going to try to guide you so that we, we do, because we don't have all the time in the world, but we want to talk to as many people as possible before our time runs out. So without much ado, I'm just going to run straight to um, Mrs. Uh, Promise Ezwe from Newe to start. Now, we want you to do this. Um, Introduce yourself, where you're speaking from, and then give us your experience with us. And then um, you now give us an advice. You give the people who are listening to you, especially those who are going through infertility, who are still expectant. You give them an, uh, the advice that you have for them. And then you can wish our listeners Merry Christmas. So if you forget, don't worry, I'll, I'll be there to, to supply the sequence. I don't expect you to remember offhand. So, but you start with your name, start with your location, and then tell us your experience with Nordica. So, here you go. Thank you so much, sir. And good evening. My name is, uh, I hope everybody can hear me. Sure, loud and clear. Okay. Um, my name is Ezra Promise. I'm streaming from Newi, Anambra State. And then um, last year, Currently, we are five months old, and I'm a mother of triplets. Um, we entered into, okay, someone introduced me, a family doctor introduced me to Nordica last year. I, um, I have been married for five years, and I battled with infertility for five years. In fact, actually, I don't know what was the cause. I had um, a little hormonal issue. I tried IUI and other other types of uh, assisted reproductive, but it didn't work. Then the family doctor introduced me to Nordica, and then I stepped into Nordica as Saba on September 2020. God bless Dr. Onyekwere. God bless that woman for me. And then the staff there are wonderful. You know, they guided me. They told me all about IVF and IUI. Then we ran a lot of tests, and then finally I was advised to go for an IVF. And I thank God I did, though the financial aspect is a story for another day. But thank God, thank God I opted for that option. This is my the first time. And by October, after September, I entered, I stepped into Nordica. My life changed. By October, I started the process. And then by the second day of December, I tested positive to pregnancy for the first time in five years of my marriage first time and then uh, I had two embryos transferred from doctor's advice. Luckily, God wanted to give me three. I don't know what happened, but I gave birth to three plates. And then, uh, but uh, during the, during the, in fact, I am now an ambassador of Nordica here in Newi. I keep telling people, I uh, don't wait for too long. Go oh, me, I'm even regretting I waited for five years. I would have done this had it been I, I was uh, aware of the process, initially I was thinking, huh, 
uh, the hormonal drugs will bloat you up, this one, this one, this down. If you look at me, still I'm still lepacious. Even after the, <laughs> the hormonal drugs I was given, the, the story outside is scary. But when you, I stepped into Nodeka, they gave me a, a rundown of the whole process. In fact, I had a smooth ride, a very smooth ride. During the stimulation stage, the egg collection stage, in fact, it's like the staff in Nordica said I had magic hands. I didn't experience any side effects whatsoever. And then, thank God, at the end, I, I smiled home. And they kept calling me, well, after my positive uh, test, they kept calling me, guiding me. Dr. Nyekwe kept calling in contact till um, I was delivered at 34 weeks. And then, as God may have it, my babies were fine. We didn't enter incubator. We didn't enter any, we didn't go to any intensive care unit. From my hospital to my house, I went home with my two girls and the boy. Then, but uh, the thing is that the awareness is low, particularly over here in the East. When people, people that are suffering through this fertility issue, they don't, they don't really know about this IV. I don't think most people know about it this much they see it as if ah test two babies ha ah, your baby will be abnormal low. your baby that, that is one of the things i heard that when you give birth to them they will be abnormal ah, one eye will close the other eye will open you know all sorts of things i think it's the awareness that is the issue but thank god someone introduced me and then when i stepped into asaba i got a better information and i said ah i would have done this uh, probably two years back, but thank God I did it now. Five years is not bad. And then God blessed me with triplets and my triplets are still bouncing. They are sleeping. I think maybe before the end of the program, I will, I will show you a glimpse of their faces, beautiful and handsome babies. And then um, thank God for everything. My experience with Nordica is top notch. I don't know how to describe those staffs. In fact, I know most of them by their names because they keep, you know, calling, how are you doing? Mama Triplet, today, in fact, Dr. Onyekwere needs a credit. I'm sorry I'm saying, I'm calling her name like this, but I'm so excited that she's, she's, she's just too much. That woman, with, the, with her help, she was the, the encouraging words she was telling me even during the process, you know, with the faith and they, she will help you, and then you will be encouraged. Then throughout the process, it was uh, smooth. And I thank God for everything. But the only observation I had, just like I said earlier, is that the awareness, the awareness is low over here. Most people that are suffering from infertility, a lot of people that are suffering from infertility, and the money is there, but most of them, they end up in the wrong hands. Like people that someone told, tell me about the cryptic pregnancy, all this, you go there, they will tell you you will be pregnant, and then you will not go to lab, you will not go to scan. The day of delivery, you just come there, they'll give you injection, you sleep. When you wake up, you see your baby. People spend a lot of money, and then they end up with having a baby being kidnapped or being stolen or whatsoever. But because they are not aware of this IVF, and the few friends I've talked to, that are in this uh, situation, the infertility situations, when I tell them, ah, have you tried IVF? They'll be looking at you as if you are talking uh, in another language. And then they'll say, ah, is it that one they call test tube babies? I, I keep explaining that it's not test tube babies. That is just after the whole procedure, your body takes over and it's still a natural thing. And if your body didn't accept it or is, is not go if God's hand is not there, you still will not get it. So I think um, Nautica should improve either the uh, awareness, maybe create a form of an awareness or flyers or maybe radio, TV programs. Most of the things I've watched in Nautica is only the ones I saw in their television in Asaba. I've not seen it anywhere else. The programs, when I go to Asaba, I watch the television. I watch uh, Dr. Abonye on the television there. I've not seen it anywhere else. So I think... Um, is good and necessary. Those uh, they create more awareness for that. So and then I will encourage every anybody that is passing through this, if any having any fertility challenge, step into Nordica. Your life will change. Like it changed mine. I'm now a happy woman with having. And I said I want only three children. And then God gave me only gave me three at once. So and then with that, I want to say a very good thank you to Dr. Ajayi. I want to say a very big thank you to my wonderful Dr. Nyekwere Nasaba. 
to the staffs from Chioma to Umi and so many of them that have forgotten their names. And I want to say thank you so much. My first experience with Modeka, my first IVF, I have my triplets with me. And on that note, I want to wish each and every one of us a merry, merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. I think I'm good. Yes, you are very good. Thank you so very much. You know, we, we, we are medical people. We are not allowed to advertise. So that's one of the problems that we have. But the best we can do is what we're doing now. I mean, I mean you know, so we cannot advertise. So we can only enlighten. So that, thank you so very much. But with people like you, I don't think we will have headache. All right. Thank you. Now, maybe I better jump quickly to uh Unkong, Ekong in uh, Uyo. Uh, Ekong, Nkuto. can you please uh, quickly talk before we lose uh, the airwaves go away from you so we can clear all those people that promise there can be some problems with. Sorry, sorry, we, sorry, we can't hear you. The network is not is not very supportive. We cannot hear you. Can you hear me, doctor? Better now, yep. Yeah? Okay, I want to say a very thank you to Nokia Fertility. And to my husband who introduced me, he stays outside the country and he went into the internet to check and he finally got to Nordic Fertility and we settled to Nordica. So we traveled to, we've been to Asaba, we've been to Lagos and um, there's difference. It, they, they make us comfortable. So in 2019, we started the journey finally and uh, but in 2020 we got our son a precious baby very intelligent i i have really educated so many people over here because i myself i did not really know much about ivf until i came to i visited nordica so i have tried my the little i can to educate people in people to nordica and i, I wish nordica can come to a quiet boom Aside the one in Abba, which is the side, uh, I wish you can come to our album. And uh, I also want to encourage other women families waiting, expecting. I, I, you talked about advertising. I'm not advertising, but I think Nordica is excellent. They, it's excellent. So I really want to uh, advise parents or families who are also expecting to not give up to try IVF. It's not a sin. So many people it's a sin. It's not sin. IVF is the best. 100% is the best. So I, I, I so thank God for Nordica for making us have a complete home, for giving us an intelligent boy. I don't want to go into so many, I don't want to tell stories, but I'm happy they are my mother. All thanks to Nordica family. You are indeed a very wonderful family. Thank you, Tai. I also Thank want you. to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you so much because we can't see your face because of the internet connection, we know. But thank you so much. You, it's, it's great talking to you. And uh, yes, be careful what you pray for. You might just see us next door to you in you know, one of these days. You know? Oh, Doctor, I'll be so happy. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'll go straight to Asaba uh, with Motun, uh, Abigail. Yes. Yeah. Good afternoon, Doctor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. Um, my name is Motun Abigail, streaming live from Asaba, Delta State. Um, I'm just short of words and I don't really know what to say, but I think Nordical 
that there's one slogan I usually hear them say, completing family, they made my family complete. Although I didn't try long, but the few years, the few year rather, was not was not something something anyone can express. Talking from when you have those kind of in-laws that I guess you know what I mean. I got to know about Snodica on the internet, Facebook, one of their sponsored ads. So I screenshotted it and showed it to my husband who bought the idea because been trying so many things, so many, so many that I can't mention. And as God may have it, the first day I stepped into Nordica La Saba was actually the day I started. That was to show you how serious I was. I got there, I was on my period that day and the, there's one lady, I can't remember her name. She just took me through the whole process, everything. Then and I called my husband, I was like, you can, make, you can make part of the first payment. And he was like, do you have the cash? I said, yes, I do. So good and fine, you can start. And God being on our side, we, we underwent everything, the whole procedures. God bless Dr. Nye Kure. She was always there. Morning, afternoon, midnight, mid midnight, Dr. Nye Kure is always there. Like... Any little question, I was like, ah, Dr. Sio, say, don't worry, any time of the day, just call me, I'll be there to respond. And luckily for us, after the whole procedures, we got our bouncing baby boy, who is still bouncing till now. Hope you mind if I show his face. We want to see him. We want to see him. Ah, okay. He's even trying to drive. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, hello. Yeah. So, he came my this year and he's he's should I say over smart, like over smartness, they worry this one. <laughs> I'm so glad we are so happy. And we can't wait to, to, to do part two. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're there. So my challenge, or let's say my advice is, um, if we can still have a little way of publicizing to people, because there are so many people that does not know about this IVF thing. So many, because I know so many persons, so many of my friends, I tried talking IVF thing to, they will, but they will prefer going to all these native, native, ah! native means ah. which after everything they will they will end up losing their money i just wish if there's any ah. way although you said ah. medical practitioners don't advertise i don't know if there's any way ah. you can at least publicize ah. it will go a long ah. way to help so many families <coughs> let's start off from my end thank you so very much thank you so you know i think where we're going to end this is that we're probably going to ask you for suggestion yeah. because you are raising the same thing maybe who knows the the solution might lie with you guys and yeah. then probably we'll take it from there okay but that probably will be the conclusion when we want to conclude okay and if you don't have any solution if you don't have any advice for us it's okay they just i mean i just don't take i don't uh, lose any opportunity to get um uh, suggestions from people i always that's how to thrive okay so thank you so very much uh, uh abigail so Doctor, your mouth, your your mic is mute. So. Thank you so much for reminding me. You see, sometimes you 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 complicate things by trying to abide with some laws. Okay, fine. Now that uh, I said we are now near Lagos, so we are going to go to Lagos now, and uh, I'm going to allow the lady to talk first before the gentleman. The Abuja people, we have not seen them yet, uh, but um, we will allow Victoria to. Go to talk to us right now. Victoria, you got the mic.
Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Hey, good evening, Victoria. Okay, um, my name is Victoria Agubama. Um, I am joined in from Lagos. My experience, I don't know how to start it, but I started the journey in 2017 after waiting for about three years. And prior to then, prior to meeting my husband, I didn't know anything about IVF, you know, and after a year we waited and nothing was happening. So we thought to do all the necessary tests, which we did and everything was fine. Hormonal balance was fine. And then we we're wondering what could be the problems you know, and then somebody told us to go for HSG. And we realized that I had um, blocked tubes. So both tubes were blocked. And for me, it was like the end of the world, like both tubes blocked. It looked like there was no way of escape, you know, until my husband mentioned to me that, oh, I know people who are in the that a friend of the family, you know, and then we started the journey of IVF. And to the glory of God, my very first treatment with Nordica was a success. I, I had a handsome son. We had a lot of embryos, so we saved them. And then we went back a year and three months later and we got a set of swings, two beautiful girls. And like everybody has testified, you know, I used to think about uh, IVF babies that are they really normal children? Like, do they do the things that other children do until I started having mine? And like I said, like other people have said, my children are very smart. They are the, the last two are just a year and nine months. And you need to see what they do. You need to hear them speak. You're wondering, oh my God, did you say this girl, these girls are less than three years old? And they're actually on the big side. So sometimes when I and my husband were laughing, just say, you know that they are the same age with our son. Um, I think that IVF is a miracle from God. Some people have wondered, uh, is, it, is it biblical? Is it something that God would not frown at? And I asked a question, the portion of the scripture that says, um, no one should, no one will be, there will be no barren in the land. How did you think that God was going to, you know, make that happen? That none will be buried in the land. And then my brother brought me to remembrance of another scripture where um, a parable was said of a woman who gave who got married and the husband passed on, but she had no child, you know, and then she had to, let me be express, sleep with the other brothers just to see if she could make a baby and keep the name of the husband. So who says that IVF is a sin? Who says that IVF is not such a beautiful thing? So for me, I think that IVF is a way that God has come to us to say, you know what? If it's not happening in the room, it can happen in the lab. And I have my children to testify for this. I want to advise couples out there that um, infertility is no longer a lonely journey. It's no longer a journey that you go, just you and your spouse. You need to talk about it because sometimes if you don't talk about things, you really do not know what next to do. Like I said, I didn't know about IVF. If not, I married someone who was quite enlightened with regards to that. I wouldn't, maybe I would have been lost and I'll be going to and fro like so many people do, going to different native doctors to drink all sorts. I didn't have to drink all of that. And I'm thankful to God that I came to Nordica and both times I had my treatment done, I went home with my bundles of joy. So I'm advising couples out there who are listening to embrace IVF. It's a miracle from God. Talk about your struggle, your infertility struggle. You cannot be in that struggle alone. There are doctors there to help you. There are fertility specialists to advise you. You run the necessary tests and prayerfully follow it, it works. I want to also seize this opportunity to wish everyone listening a very joyous Christmas in advance and a prosperous new year. I don't think I've said thank you to Nordica as a team, as a family, 
I want to say a very big thank you to every single staff of Nordical Lagos. You guys are amazing. My children are a year and nine months. The first one is three years and nine months. And you guys still keep calling to check on us. You send messages, you celebrate them on their birthdays. You guys are just amazing. IVF was very, very emotional for me, very, very emotional, I must say. In fact, by the time I went in the second time, after my embryo transfer, I was in tears. I was crying profusely. Like I was asking questions. Why do I have to go through this part and all of it? But Nosini was just such an amazing person. While I was doing my conscious, she just kept encouraging me, you know, and then she reminded me still that IVF is actually God's way of reaching out to people who have been termed barren, people who have been called men, women who have been called men, you know, by in-laws or by friends. I remember how even in the house of God in court, I was tortured, like, People will come and ask me, what are you waiting for? Like, I didn't want a child. Like, they wanted it more than I did. But today, my story has changed. And I'm grateful to God for Nordica. Thank you, Tim Nordica. Thank you, Dr. Ajayi. Thank you, everyone listening. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Yes, thank you so much, Victoria. Um, uh, yes, we... Ah, okay, I think... Uh, Sula Imam Bimusa has written the question. I, I just wanted to say that, look, if you have any questions, please, you can type it. We might not be able to give everybody access to talk. Just if you have any question, just type it. We definitely we attend to your questions. Uh, the Abuja people have joined. So uh, we're going to allow the lady to talk, and then we have the two gentlemen to, to back everything up. So Victor, just please give me some uh, grace. For this, you know, women before uh, beauty before age. Busy. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to allow Mrs. Um, Olua Kemi to talk now. Um, please unmute yourself. She's from Abuja. Olua Kemi Rafiu. Please unmute yourself. Okay, so I've done that. Good, Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. So great to see you and compliments. I wish you the same, sir. Great. So you're going to tell us your name, where you're talking from. I think we've provided it to, and then your experience, so that other people can sh share from your experience and learn from it. Yes, sir. I am saying compliment of the season to everyone. I'm delighted to be here. I actually am talking from, let's say, Lagos State, Ogo State right away. We were in, uh, I was in Abuja before my husband is still there. So I saw to Lagos to Abuja. But presently, so we are here in Lagos. We did our IVF in Lagos. I started the journey in uh, 2018 precisely. And then uh, before then, I've done it two eyes in St. Ivy's. Oh, please don't mention any other name. All right, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. I, I did it twice elsewhere and it wasn't successful. I'm sorry I have to mention, but it's part of my story, sir. You know, it wasn't successful. And when I joined Nordica in Abuja, nobody told me about Nordica. I was, I prayed, I wanted a better place the third time because of my experience before. I prayed, we searched, I searched for Tiri Best Fertility Center in Nigeria. So Nordica was one of the theory. So I chose, we chose Nordica. We actually, I'm very sorry, it's Nordica baby that touched. That's allowed, that's allowed. Yeah, yes, sir. So our aim was that, let's check Nordica in Abuja. Let's check other, other one too, before we choose. But when we got to Nordica, 
the reception we received, the way they received us, we could not go elsewhere. And then that year, my marriage was 16 years. So when we walked up to the place, the way they received us, the India doctor, I could not pronounce her name very well. See, doctor, is he Arati? Something like that, but not seal. Arati, Arati. Arati, not seal. Ah, a very wonderful woman being. And the others. So when we got there on our way home, we told ourselves, what else do we need? So we, we started the journey that 2018. Then, by then, my period, we seek for a long time that when we started, I, we pay part of the money. I will call them. When am I coming? They will say, calm down. They noticed the anxiety when we walked in. They saw the way I was that if they do anything immediately for me, there is no place for success. But I was in hurry for everything to be done. But they kept on coming me down. I will call them again. Now see what is going on. Call her. She will say, we will call you. We will call you. But later, we started in 2019 fully. In that 2018, I was to go through a test looking into my womb. I want to remember the, the name of the test. They entered through my, my nave to check my womb. I came to Lagos here. I did it there. So they now said, okay, from there, everything is okay. We started to all be the glory. And one thing I also cherish most about the medical and the doctor there was that she kept on telling me, pray, everything boil up to God. Madam, we pray as we do this, pray that God owns the success. And we did it, we went through it in uh, on the on the 2019, the I went there for pregnancy test after transferring, and they told me it was a boom. I don't know if I should scream. I don't know if I should. I just stayed on my chair, blue, looking, and they were all shouting. Talk about the everything they did for me. It, I, I, I would say it is the best to compare to the one I have done before. And I thank God we went to Nordica. I thank God I did not just choose. I'm a kind of person that I want to search on the net. Where is it good? Who are the best? This and that. We went there. And I want to say thank you, sir, for allowing God to use you to complete our home. Despite the woman there was an Indian woman. I thought I would walk in, we're going to see one night or somewhere, but she kept on, you know, encouraging us, telling us to be prayerful. In fact, I did not think of then, the thought of fasting, praying wasn't there, but they were the ones that said, we will do our best, madam, but you still need to pray. So they supported us and everything worked out fine. When the team was boom, we went there. The, the, it was theory, the transfer. Two, they told us two was the best, but I told them to transfer. The doctor made me to know that two, two, I said transfer theory. But at the end of the day, we had two. All glory be to the Lord. And thank you, sir. May the Lord continue to help you in Jesus' name. We appreciate Amen. you. Thank you very much, sir. Amen. Thank, you. thank you. This wow. is. This is David. After 17 why? years of marriage, say hello. Don't say why. Yeah. What did they, what is the video of that? Oh yeah, Daniel. David and Daniel. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello. Good to see you. Hello. Okay. hello. Bring hello. him. Right. Thank we thank God for your lives. This is the second one, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Great. So, so good to see you. So, so, so good to see you. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Amen. And you too. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to the two of you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So, yeah, thank you. So, we're going to go straight on to 
I'm told that Peter Ogogu is somewhere here, but I can't see him. So maybe what I'll do is I'm going to allow Victor to talk first, and then if Peter is still with us, but there are also two other people. There is Fina Aigbe from the US, who I just saw now. She just signed in. I, I'm sure she's still on. I'm going to allow her to also talk. Oh, okay, I can see Ogogu. Okay. Okay, the, the lady. Okay, Joy Ogogu. All right, uh, Victor, please. Let uh, the lady still talk, Joy Obogu, and then we have you. You know you are you are a, you are not orator, so we you the best will come last. No Good. problem, no problem. <laughs> All right, thank you. So, Joy Obogu, please tell us your name. Tell us where you are speaking from, and then your experience. We want to end the year on a very bright note. So, so we want all the good news to keep coming. Joy Obogu, have you, is your internet also still dancing? Yeah, the internet is on. I can hear oh. you, like, can you hear me now? Oh, oh yes, I can even see yes. you. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, 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 how are you? Is the family Hello. good? Yes, we are calling from Abuja. Wonderful. What yes. from Abuja? She's already telling Abuja. me Abuja. Eh? Yes, Abuja. So that good evening, sir. And I can hear you. So yes. wave, wave now. Good evening, doctor. We are happy good to be online evening. with you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be online with you one on one. My pleasure. I just want to appreciate God for what God has been using you to do. For us, the story was very fine. We tried the first shot. We were very lucky. And to God be the glory. Whoever will tell IVF, they say, no, IVF, hey, blah, blah, blah. But we thank God. We had it for short and it, it all went. We just want to appreciate God and also to thank God for God using you. You are just like an instrument, the hand of the Lord. I know you brought joy to so many families. So many families are hopeless. That, but getting to Nordica, we saw lights. The joy. You, Doctor, I don't know how to express it, but God has been using your people. Nozil and her team, the doctor, everybody. I think Abuja staff, they deserve an applause. Because the time you pay a visit, they make you feel at home. They make you feel it's done already. But they will tell you God used them to Give you work. hope. Give you hope. Make you feel alive. Each time we visit, that burden, that. It's as if it has been taken away. I, in short, doctor, I don't know how to express it. I just don't know. Don't cry, yes? Yeah? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't cry, Doctor, it's a pleasure. And I believe, just like what the other lady from Asaba said, a lot of family are going through this challenge, but they don't know how to express themselves. Yes, mm -hmm. there should be a means of convincing people. There should be a kind of, I just don't know. I like what's to place on ground, how to advertise, how to convince more people. Yes, I, I, I believe my own case was a different case. I discussed with like three or four of my family. They say, I have the needs, that's why I'm bold enough to. I said, no, there's a program that you can pay quarterly. You contribute whatever you have. And by the talent of it, the joy you get is more than the money you spend. So, but I still believe that at times goes on, more awareness should be created. Like I get to hear my from the radio jingle and I follow up. Mm. But today, the story is a different story. It's a different world. We thank God. We thank God. She's baby, she's yeah. too active. <laughs> Hyper active. <laughs> Hyper -active. <laughs> at the point, I have to take her to a family doctor. Look, doctor, this girl doesn't sleep. She, <laughs> she, she's short. To God be the glory. Okay, okay, to God okay, be the okay. glory. I just, it's a pleasure meeting you. It's a pleasure meeting your staff, your team on ground. It's a wonderful people you have, a wonderful team. The good Lord will continue to strengthen you. I I can go on and on and on, but I know it's a live program. There are lots of people who are waiting on the line, but the story is fantastic. Nodika is the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much. Thank you so, so, so very much. And uh, yes, this is the reason, this is what keeps us going when we hear stories like this, you know? 
So we know that we're doing something and then we see the evidence, you know? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so very much. Thanks. And uh, Merry Christmas in advance. Thank you. Thank you. Right, right. So, oh, good. Victor, so now you have the floor. Can, can we hear from you, Victor? Okay. okay. Um, good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you, Dr. And thank you to Olori. I don't know if she's around somewhere. Um, she keeps us going and we're, we're always so glad, always so glad to be connected with you. Um, um, my, my wife and I have been married for 21 years and we waited for about 18 of those years, 18 of those years. And there were, there were 18 tough years um, but I thank God that um, we were able to take, take the issue as something that would not break our marriage. And that would be my advice to people who are also waiting. Um, one of the challenges that I found in terms of infertility for a lot of couples is that they allow the infertility problem to define their marriage. Um, I mean, for those years that we were waiting, a lot of people would meet us and would not even know that we were, we had such a, such a huge problem in our hands, you know, because we still remained happy as husband and wife. And one of the things I always told my wife was that I didn't marry you because of children, right? I didn't marry you because of children. And I always told her that, you see, um, uh, nobody gets a trophy or a medal for how many children you have when you die. You know, you will die and leave everything. So um, I, I think it's important for, for people waiting for children to, to, see, to see it as a medical challenge. I mean, if you have a heart problem, you go to a cardiologist, all right? If you have a kidney problem, you go to a nephrologist. There are specialists who handle these kinds of issues. They are specialists on infertility. You look for them and you go to them. You tell them your story. You go through certain tests and they will advise you. Not all cases end up in IVF, right? But you need the advice. You need the analysis. Uh, you, you need the test to be able to, it's just, assistance from medical experts right so that's that would be my advice for people who are who are waiting and don't let this define your marriage remain happy because your state of mind also helps the success rate of ivf your state of mind will help the condition of your body to receive Right, so this really, this really helps. And I bless God for the day we came across Nordica. Uh, I, I, am, I am a member of the Nordica, Nordica family and we remain so forever. Um, I sing the song of Nordica everywhere I go. I'm an ambassador. I, I try to advise people and talk to people and redirect them when, when I cross, come across people who have, uh, who have challenges. And, and thank God for today, we have three beautiful children. Our last one just turned one on December 7th, and we had a, a great birthday party just yesterday. So I, I, wanna, <laughs> I want to thank you all and, uh, and uh, pray for all those who are still waiting that entering into 2022, you will have your blessing in your hand. God will surely show up for everyone. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for the Thank you. Thank you, Victor. You are becoming a doctor and a, a pastor at the same time. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a surprise. This is not part of the program. Uh, Fina Ibe joined from Baltimore in the US. So I'm going to allow her to talk. She, she is one of our ambassadors in the U.S. So, Fina, can you just, yeah. 
Uh, good morning, everybody, or uh, good afternoon over there. Um, Dr. Ajayi Olori, you guys, if you guys know you are unofficial, God, <laughs> God more than Godfather to my son, Joshua. Please, Joshua, come and say hi before I start talking, just so that people can have a perspective of what I'm going to speak about. Um, this is Joshua. Good morning. This has some 12 years old boy. <laughs> hi, Josh. <laughs> yes, he's a 12 years old. He's uh, in America here. He was, you know, he's an honor roll student. Okay, so let's get that straight. You know, IVS children, you know, they don't have any difference in intellectual. Okay, okay, baby, you can go. So, well, my name is uh, Fina Aibe. I'm Dr. Fina Aibe. Um, I practice here in America. Um, I actually do primary uh, care. I mean, not practitioner by background, just you know, for emphasis. My story, I'm just gonna do a quick story and I'll kind of like give a spin on what I think we can do in Nigeria in particular. Dated back about 15 years ago, when I tried to have a child. Um, I was married at that time. Um, I went through hell. We all know the African syndrome. When you're married, you don't have a child. Nobody care about who the problem is. They just assume it's a woman. You know, people will call you. Your family will call you. What are you waiting? When are you going to have a baby? You're getting fat. Why are you not having a baby? So you are humiliated in different shape and form. You know, you go, people will see you. Ah, what are you waiting for? They don't care what you're going through. So infertility from the Africa perspective is very, very frustrating for the woman. It's humiliating, it's frustrating. And the women go through so many agonies. And again, nobody care who is the problem. The man is never the problem. That is where I'm gonna anchor right now. The man is never the problem in Africa, which is wrong when there is infertility. Just like the last speaker said, when you have, when you broke a bone, you're coming to see me. I'm gonna give you injection or fix your bone. I do orthopedics right now. When you have endocrine problem, you know, you go see them for your diabetes. So are, when you have your heart problem, you are going to the cardiology. When you have neurology problem, your brains, your neurology is gonna see you. So when you have infertility, why are we going to the church only? You know, there are different ways you can go to. I mean, prayer is always there, but go to where you need to get help. My problem was in America, of course, I knew what I could do. I tried in America. I'm not gonna mention where I tried, but I can tell you I tried in the best of the best. And at that time, if fertility wasn't even covered by insurance, I paid, you think about it 15, 20 years ago, $20,000 each time that didn't work in America. So. So my family told me about this miracle worker, Dr. Ajayi. So what are you waiting for? My mommy, she's my, my late aunt, I call her mom. She passed away just last year. What are you waiting for? There is a magician in Nigeria giving people babies. I'm like, what are you talking about, mom? I know I've gone through all of that. She was like, no, she did it for your big sister who is older than you. So I'm like, okay. I'm coming to Nigeria on vacation. I will look into it. But she won't leave me alone to tell you the truth. So I decided to reach out to um, Mrs. Ajayi and I talked to her, you know, and she was so welcoming and lovely. She, I, it's some, it's, it was like she knew me from before. I'm just telling you how they are. So I didn't know them, but the way they, they talked to me, they really encouraged me to try. I said, you know what, what do I have to lose? I have already tried it, you know, spend money. So let me just try this one more time. At this time, I was not a divorcee because I lost my marriage because of infertility. Because he was not, you know, I don't want to go through there trying to experiment whether he can create a baby from somewhere else. I couldn't take it, so I left. So I decided to pursue having a baby in Nigeria with a boyfriend. And guess what? It worked. I came to Nigeria, you know, I on a vacation, you know, and I did my, I did my treatments with uh, Dr. Ajayi, you know, and surprisingly, I got pregnant. So that is my miracle baby that is 12 years old today. So where am I going to again? I have a lot of families and friends I have referred to 
uh, to this uh, treatment center. But one particular problem I see is that a lot of them, they want to pray and pray and pray until it's too late, until they are in their 50s and 60s. When you have the most opportunity to get pregnant, if at least in your 30s and you know 40s, don't wait until it's too late. But we tend to spend our 10, 20 years in the church praying alone. You know, I totally agree that you should pray. But why you pray? Seek health care. Find out what is wrong at least. And I please, our men, I love you guys. But even if you don't want to go with your wife, go and find out to make sure you are okay. Because it wouldn't make sense to waste 20 years you know, you know, just pretending nothing's wrong, you know, or let, let the woman is taking care and nothing's wrong with her. You know, your problem could have been easily fixed. There are so many solutions. There is a sperm donor, nobody needs to know. There's egg donor, nobody needs to know. It's between you and your spouse, you know. And if you want to do surrogacy, you know that is an option too, you know. So don't hide your problem and don't pretend, pretend it doesn't exist. If you have a problem, seek health care, you know. And if it's a financial issue, then you know you need to get money. But at least you need to know what is wrong. And really, for God's sake, there should be no shame in getting care for infertility. You know, again, like we're saying, if you have, who doesn't have, who, they, tell me one Nigeria who doesn't take one pill today, be even a pastor or whoever they are, tell me one person who does not take one pill, either for hypertension or for diabetes or for thyroid disease or for whatever. So any person that try to shame you for getting care for infertility, then flip it up to that person. If you are so righteous, why are you taking that medicine for hypertension? If you are so righteous, why are you treating your diabetes? If you are so righteous, why are you even wearing glasses? Why don't you leave your eyes the way God gave it to you? So the point is getting care for infertility should be just as normalized as in getting care for hypertension or anything. Maybe we should start reaching out to the religious body. Let them start, stop pretending. You know, let them start speaking about all of these issues. Think about it. Should you go through your life being depressed and frustrated, committing suicide, you know, you know, because you want to hide in secrecy? Or get the care you need and live a happy life. The choice is really yours. You know, if the society will not allow you to do what you want to do, then do it quietly. You don't have to announce to the whole world like Iniedo. Iniedo is an advocate right now for this. We know that, but you don't have to be Iniedo. You can get what you need to do quietly. But for God's sake, my message today is seek health care. Get the care you need. Get, you know, you have a lot of centers now in Asaba, you know, and we have one in Lagos and probably in Abuja. So you have a lot of centers out there. And I can also say that I know this center for a fact, you know, that they are excellent in what they do. I have been in America, I have been to the best of the best. And when I say that, I mean that. When, when they quote places in America where you can go for care, I have been there. I was in, you know, I have been to those places. And I can tell you that Dr. Ajayi Center is, a, well, I got my result from them. And I didn't get my result from the best of the best. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, if anybody have any question for me, I'll be very happy to answer you. Um, I am very, very happy today. I am fulfilled. Even though I have financial freedom, educational freedom, there was something that was missing. And Dr. Ajayi gave that to me. Thank you so much, sir. May God bless you. You too. Thank you so, so very much. Yes, um, I think, um, yes, uh, she said it all. There's still one more person before Suleiman. Suleiman says he has a suggestion, but he's not on. He's not built to talk, but he says he has a suggestion. I will let him talk. But let Mrs. Helen Oluwole from Ibadan also talk to us now, and then we are going to end at six o'clock. Come with me. So, Mrs. Helen, you need to be very fast. Good evening, Doctor Ajay. Good evening, everyone. My Me. name is Helena Denikoluole. I'm speaking from Ibadan. I'm so happy to be on your, on your program today. Thank you for, uh, for what God has used you to accomplish in my life. I'm so, I'm so glad. I'm really, really short of breath because you brought smile to my face through your, your team, the Nautica team. They've been so wonderful. I have, through your team, I have a bundle of joy now. I have a fraternal twins. 
So I say thank you to you and your team. I want to encourage other couples that are going through fertility challenges to come out and seek help. Nautica is wonderful in that aspect. Seek help through them and you'll see what God will use them for to do for you. So I'll say thank you to your Nautica team. I always, I'm always enlightened whenever I speak to one of your team, once they call me, they've been so caring, they've been calling during, during my trial time, they've been calling, they've been, they stood by me throughout my journey. So I'm so grateful to all the Nautica team. So my, my advice to couples now is that they should please not hide under any guise of loneliness or sadness. They should speak out, seek help from the right quarters. They should seek help through Nautica. Nautica has always been in, God has always been using Nautica in our aspect to complete the family. They put smile on every, on every family that has that has fertility challenges. I'm testimony to, I'm testimony to one of the, 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 the couples that the Lord has used Nautica to, to do. So I'm grateful to Nautica. So I wish I wish everybody Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year. Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Ajayi. Thank you so very much. Yes, um, great, great, great. So, um, we just have one minute for uh, Suleiman. Can you just tell, you say you have a suggestion? Please tell us what your suggest. Please make it very short, and okay. so that we can end this program on time. I'm still going to give only one minute too. So, all right. Um. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Suleiman B. Musa. I'm joining you from Sokoto State. Uh, just like what I said uh, during the chat, that we are planning to start our treatment in January, at God's willing. And one thing I want to say, although um, I found out about Nodica through the internet, and it was really amazing. And now this uh, webinar, I've just joined, I've had a lot of hopes and confidence that we also will definitely have our own children that one day will come to testify. Um, one thing I like about Nodica is the warm reception, the professionalism from the staff, you know. But I have this question, why is it that you guys are not in the north. You only stood at Abuja. Find a way of coming, even if it is the northwest or not south. Why? Because maybe you have this fear of religious ethnicity. From the Islamic point of view, IVF is 100% safe and is allowed Islamically. Because now for me that lives in Sokoto, that anytime I want to go, I have to go to Abuja, lodge in a hotel. You know how expensive Abuja is. If not for me to let, uh, have that uh, courage, sometimes I will feel I don't have that enough money to go and do that. But by the time you have these centers closer to people, I know there are hundreds of people that really want to have this opportunity. Because one thing about children is something that no matter what you have, once you don't have children of your own, you always feel you are left out. So try as much as you can, look inward and see what you can do to ensure that we have these centers, even if it is in, um, if you cannot get it in Sokoto, then Kano, which is closer for people to like come and, I'm sure the sky is not going to be the limit and it's just going to be the starting point. Thank you very much, Doctor. I've been seeing your videos anytime we go to Abuja Center. Now I'm really here seeing you, so I'm really happy and it's giving me so much hope. I really appreciate and enjoyed uh, these lectures. Thank you very much and wish to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Suleiman. Yeah, your, what, your point is noted. Um, you will see that it's, uh, setting up an IVF clinic is not cheap. So what we've just done, but we, we, we're considering the north, the core north as well, but we're just taking it one step at a time. But we'll definitely, by God's grace, be able to extend our services to the core north. Uh, Abuja is just supposed to be scratching it on the surface, but the core north will definitely come to. Thank you so very much. Um, and I wish you the very best when you start your treatment. Um, one of the things that I, I think also, I'm going to take before I allow Lori to talk is that you can see that the doctors in Asaba and Abuja are doing wonderful things. Some people always say that until they come to Lagos, they cannot get the service that they require. That is not true. 
live in Abuja and Asabatu. You can hear the testimonials. So uh, thank you so very much, the doctors, for doing us proud. Every member of staff for doing us proud. Zil featured prominently in all the testimonials. And then that's God bless you. So, um, Olori, do you want to say one word or two? Because I said we are cruising at six and I'm going to keep it like that. Um, good evening, everyone. <laughs> it's been it's been great listening to everyone from Asaba, from Abuja, and uh, also Lagos. Thank you for um, joining the program, and um, we are grateful to God for what God has done in your families. It's not what we do, but what God has done. God has just used us as an instrument, you know, to meet your needs. And um, like we all say, when when uh, you have experienced this, talk to somebody else, because it's always good for us to um, let people know that IVF is safe, because a lot of people still don't know that they can access IVF. So it's important that um, we talk to them. We are now the ambassador of IVF. Let's go out there. Let's talk to them. Let's encourage them. You don't have to tell your story in full, like um, uh, Fina said. You don't have to be the, the um, what's her name? Um, Iniedo, you know, coming out to say I did surrogacy and all that. You can share your story in a way that can encourage other people. Oh, I did IVF. You don't have to say the, the old truth. You don't have to tell them exactly what you did, whether you used a donor egg or a donor sperm. You don't have to go into the details. But tell them that you did IVF. Encourage them to come. We have a lot of them around us in our churches. A lot of people still go to church. Yes, we know that God at the end of the day is still the one that is going to do it, but they need to access um, health care for, for their stories to be completed. Um, thank you for joining us in the program this evening. And uh, I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. And for those of you, we are still expecting you back. One is not enough. So come back and have more. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, I think I'm just going to end this program today. It's been wonderful. I've really thoroughly enjoyed I think I'm going to play. This is the first video that I don't play videos back. But I think this one, I think I need to play back. I want to take in everything that everybody has said. It's so great. So on this note, I'm going to wish you Merry Christmas. And please, for those who are on the website, watch out. There will be Christmas uh, uh, bumper if you like. Thank you so much for being part of this. See you sometimes again, maybe next year. Merry Christmas, <laughs> that, Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas. you so much. Thank you. Thank you for being part thank of you. this. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you soon. Yeah.